I'm gonna kick my son's ass, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. putting this kid in the dirt. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> um, come on. You know you remember that. <laughs> God, it's so beautiful. We actually there was like our house christening party, right? It was mm -hmm. like we opened a, um, a Lord of D one of these. Like you can see how this one's starting to peel a little bit. The other one was like completely. It was so bad that I was like, "Is this shit fake?" Like, <laughs> you know, and so we opened it. It was not dude. You remember what we pulled? Yeah, it was amazing pulls. We pulled a change of heart. Yep. And we pulled a dark hole. Yep, exactly. Ooh. And change of hearts, like that's a that's an amazing card. Yeah, it's like one of the most nostalgic. It's in here somewhere. There's would have been one of these as since they're meant. Oh yeah, it was like in perfect condition. Yeah, I know. God, it's so pretty. It's original. You can tell because they say magic card, not spell card. So it's the original. Didn't they get in trouble with that? It's, you know, there's nothing official from Konami, but yeah, why else would they change that? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why else you would fucking change that. Best set of all. Fuck, it's hard. I, like, as a kid, this is my favorite set. But as I get older, I feel like Labyrinth of Nightmare or just LOB is my favorite. Invasion of Chaos, dude. Only one Chaos Emperor. I need Ooh. more. I have all of them in first head, though. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah. I, I knew you had two. I have a full playset now. I was about to say, I've seen you pull a few. Yeah, those are the Korean ones. You oh, you, yeah, that's true. You haven't seen me open a first dead box. That's that. true. I have not. When it comes to that first 11 sets, like if it's sealed product, like, beat, like that's also Asian of Chaos, obviously. It came out the same time, but it was just the unlimited printing. Um, I don't open stuff like that. Like, I, I'm considering opening one just for graduation to celebrate, but I would have to be like high up YouTube. To do stuff like that oh yeah like i'm not and i also i would feel terrible about opening them because then there's less in the world like i'm that. not busting this box for less than a hundred thousand <laughs> euros I and i feel stupid about busting old school boxes these boxes are four grand um i opened both of these personally when they were like 200 and i'm like man why the fuck did i do that? i knew these i kept a bunch of them but i knew that these boxes were going to be really expensive they're like between like 70 to like 200 dollars when i was picking them up in 2016. i was like this is the first english set to have a ghost rare so like, I would walk, never did. Yep, and so I just got bored one day and I opened two of them. There is a video of this one that I'll do like a react to as well. Yeah, brother, and then we got all the promos. I was putting some Korean singles in there, but GX love. You're gonna see so many heroes. Yep. 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 Oh, see, if you don't have the swoop, I'm telling you, swoop, swoop. Yeah. Gotta have a swoop. Gotta, gotta have, have a swoop, it. and then you will get binder damage. I ran out of swoops. We got honest, uh, Cyber Dragon all art, first edition creator. I think there's a ult, there's some ultis and stuff. Or I might have moved them into a different binder. The ult movements rares. That in first edition. It's pretty solid. Up. Oh, there's your boys. It's Mystic Swordsman, but yes. these are all first edition. All oh, the art. Yeah. So clean. Oh, like, there you go. Looking like a Dark Soul Silent boss. Swordsman level yes. 3, dude. That's a game winner right there. Boom, there it is. <laughs> God, I love that deck. Oh, I should have brought my car. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. You got him from the movie. Horus. Oh, you know yeah. That? I don't think this... It, it was or like he was in the movie. Yeah, he was in the movie. These are the first edition Horus. People are pretty sought after those too. But yeah, you're right, right? Uh, Wing Kribos, first heads. Nice. Just, that's I definitely hear Jane Yugi. I know I have an ulti of this first, but whatever. Oh, here's some. You had to say it. Now I just. What are you doing, Kribo? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I was, I was explaining <laughs> that actually to my girlfriend the other day because she likes Kribo a lot. I was like, yeah, NGX. He's like really proud. They of make it. an ultra rare. Vampire yeah, they do. Lord? Yep. So this is Rise of Destiny. So oh, Rise of Destiny, they had just like the special editions for Invasion of Chaos. This is the first special edition they did. So traditionally, you would have a uh, first edition print of a box. So like, okay, so Legacy of Darkness. It would come out in 36, and it would come out in 24. Not all of them, but they started doing that. Mad and Quibbler, so you can see there's Big Boy and Little Boy. Um, depending on if it was like a retail shop or a hobby shop, they would do a different box, so it had more or less packs. Uh, which is funny to think about, like, booster box sitting at Walmart like that. Like, I always think of blisters, I don't ever remember that, but whatever. I know they would do, like, like party cities and stuff to have, like, boxes of them after. So, but they would do first edition, and then after, you know, like, six months or so, they would do the unlimited print run. And then on Invasion of Chaos, they started to also do an unlimited print run. So you'd have the normal box, first edition, unlimited box. Then you would have Invasion of Chaos special edition. And that's where you would get these big, uh, I've opened one of these before, so I should have one sitting here. This is empty, but you would get these. There'd be three packs of it. And then also a one of four promo card, which in that Invasion of Chaos binder, I have the promo cards too. 
So for Rise of Destiny, they continued that tradition, which is a couple sets later, so there's some other special editions between that, but I think they did it for most of GX. This one, a little ripped. Oh, but that one's pretty good. <laughs> Damn, that boy's thick. Yeah, he's thick, dude. Jesus. I know, it's all those little mini boxes and stuff, so this is actually a pretty rare item. See, when, when I hear you say case on stream, that's what I think of right Cases. up until that stream where you showed us that it was yeah. actually like a large yeah, moving like box. Come in. Yeah, 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 dude. It's, it's like a case of these, I think, is 10. That's nuts, yeah. dude. That's pretty sick. It's a lot of cardboard. I know, dude. It's oh, God. Crazy. Cardboard shipped in cardboard. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I have like a secret shrine to Kaiba back here, too. <laughs> it's really just I was putting shit places because I couldn't figure out where to put it all. But God, these wrecked me. They literally wrecked my ass. Like, <laughs> I have I have bought like a case of these. I still have not pulled anything worthwhile. Like, I got like one Venusaur. I was just like, that's one of these boxes, like eighty dollars on pre-release. I was just like, fuck it. I'm just gonna like let them sit there, you know? No, dude, not a chance. Not open anymore. I have I, I don't know, dude. If I'm not watching a big pull, like a huge trading card youtuber yeah. i never see anyone pull anything yeah. satisfactory oh, yeah. out of a pokemon box yeah, that's what i wanted i wanted to make a skit it's like it's like when you when you watch somebody open pokemon and like i don't know how we would time it but it'd be like that feeling when you try to open your own packs like the youtubers and it would be like watching someone and they're like you know it's like leon or someone they're like oh my god forty thousand dollar fucking crystal <laughs> yeah. wind big nut charizard <laughs> and you're just like sweet i'm gonna go on ebay and buy one like oh only two thousand dollars Hey, I'll get the credit card. I can pay it off by the end of the month. Swipe, bring the pack, and you're like, time to open this shit. So you sit down, you get your little like logic cam, webcam, like put that shit down, everything, you know, get your knuckles going, get your coffee, and you're like, hey guys, what's up on YouTube? I'm gonna open my first pack today. And then you're like, oh my god. And energy, energy, <laughs> you know? and, uh, 40, it's just tickle it. 40,000 odd just later. Yeah, and then you're like, you're like, well, I, I saw Leonard pulled it. Let me see what this is worth. And like, you don't know on the screen, they put like the price. It's like, it'd be like, even for the diglet, it was $700. And then you like, look it up and it's like in a PSA 10 <laughs> that never sells. Right. So, like, it's like a little skit where someone's like trying to sell these cards that they bought and they were like misled to believe or super. Expensive. Yes. But, you know, so much overcom or what was the fucking term uh card overconfidence yes absolutely yes. that's a great term and then um you know or like when i'm opening those cases right like yeah. on, on stream it's like oh damn this dude must be rich he's buying all these cases of shit and it's like meanwhile i'm just like ah, that was over there's trash everywhere and then i'm like okay i'm gonna have to spend the next 50 hours like listing all this stuff and like hope that yes. it sells and like you know if i'm like down 300 dollars, like i'm gonna have to compensate for that and you know slowly sell things or maybe hold there it's like People, people don't even know. You Literally know. pennies on the hour for what you do. How much work you put into it. Yeah, just just for that moment of opening stuff. It's funny because it's like that's how much we love, you know, doing this stuff. Oh yeah, cracking packs is a labor of love any day, all day. So story time ish. I'll do like actual story time videos for these eventually. But uh, there's just some different Korean cards. But some of the stuff in here, it's like I've had since I was a kid. And like these slabbed cards are from my dad. He was a big like baseball card collector. And so when like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh came out, he was like, oh, you gotta put them in the case. He was like always teaching me like, you gotta put them in the case, you gotta put them in the sleeve. So these two cards I will never take out of it because they remind me of my dad who passed away uh, last year. So this is like very sentimental. So those are like, they're more valuable than any of the stuff, you know? Dude, that's awesome, man. Yeah, no, Having sure. something like that. He, Yu-Gi-Oh, he felt like it was too complex, but he learned how to play Pokemon with me because like Pokemon came first, so we gotta yeah. do that first, right? It's funny because when I go back, I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh, the original Yu-Gi-Oh is easier to play than like Pokemon, but whatever. He, he, he it liked, so is. He liked playing those, right? The, the Pokemon, like the old school Pokemon game. Um, but anyways, he played with me. So over time, like he had a deck and it was like, we were going to like a card expo. Like they would have those little ones like in the mall, like mm -hmm. the Swansea Mall. And he was buying like rare ones, like, like Chansey's and like stuff. Oh, jeez. I'm going to kick my son's ass, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, putting this kid in the dirt. Yeah, seriously. I was like, all right, Dad, can I get the Alakazam? He's like, no, you want to get the Kadabra, you know? <laughs> it's no, it's, yeah. it's going to be a force of will for me not to name this video. I'm going to kick my son's ass. <laughs> yeah, dude, my favorite quote of the day. But, uh, but anyways, I found like half of the deck at one point and I rebuilt it. And I showed oh, him like two years ago. I was like, hey, check this out. And he's like, oh my God, like I can't believe you still have this. I was like, yeah, I rebuilt this deck. I like, found half of it in a thing and I like filled in the rest with it. The only card that's not in there is there's a Charizard game. That's obviously the one in the case now. Dude, that's still so awesome, man. These are not from my childhood. These I bought 
couple years ago. Those are original base set. Those pistols. are base set. Yep. You know, People always ask, are they weighted? Are they light? Are they heavy? I have no fucking clue and I don't want to find out. I like the mystery of not knowing. Right? I mean, even if you wanted to know, what do you have to compare it against? Those things are so hard to find. I know, especially like these ones. I mean, I know people have like mapped all this shit out, but like still, there's like, there's outliers for things. Like, you know, I've been told like, oh, these packs are light. And then I open one and like secret rares sometimes like will weigh under what people think they weigh. Mm. And so like I pulled a secret rare out of packs someone told me it was light. And I was like, mm, cool, cool. So the only reason those rules even exist is to have exceptions to them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Jeez. Oh, those have been to be broken. Here's some old school magic. Fallen Empires. It wasn't a popular set, um, but I do have some other old school packs with, that have to be the one in here. The one with Mewtwo and Pikachu on it. That was the first Pokemon thing I ever got. Ooh. I forget what it's called. But it's it's me too and Pikachu is the starter deck. There's like Wildfire or Brushfire is like the Charmeleon one and it's green. Pikachu one's called like Pokemon Collectors and like be like, oh duh, it's that, but I can't remember. It was essentially we looked everywhere. Pokemon was like as hot as Pokemon was in the pandemic, it was the same thing when it first came out. It was like I'm trying to find the cards was a nightmare. I never had a chance, like all of this is alien to me. I never interacted with any boxes yeah. of Pokemon cards when I was a kid. I built everything from just playground trades yep. and neighborhood kids. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. I saw someone trade this base set Charizard for a first edition this. And this is like substantially more expensive than this in an unlimited. Yeah, you know, so like obviously this is the first edition of Chalice, but I saw that happen. I was just like, everyone was hyped at the time. They were like, yeah, dude, who would want the Charizard? Nobody gives a shit anymore. Oh, no, no, no. I did this backwards. There was a Charizard that was first edition Shadowless. I was about to say. Yeah. <laughs> first edition Shadowless, and he traded it to a kid that had an unlimited one of these. Ooh. Oh, no. I know. Oh. God, I love cards. I know, man. <laughs> yeah, you can put these on here.